my coach of the split for 2018 summer split is Reapered. And the reasoning of why I chose him as my coach of the split is because I think he has set an example of literally how to do coach or the coaching model for North America, because I don't think this has ever really been done to the extent that Reaper has actually done for this split. Uh, it's something that's incredibly unheard of uh, to bench star players and to basically have entire reign over the League of Legends team. And I just don't think anyone else has really had the balls to do this and has been given the power to do this. And I talk about power and instilling power within coaches. Uh, I'll, I'll link an article down below, uh, which I contrast TSM and Cloud9 and how these two organizations have different ideas of, of how they want to instill power within uh, other figures within the organization. And, you know, I, I throw a little bit of fucking shade to TSM because uh, <coughs> they don't fucking listen to their coach. But uh, I think Cloud9, to go on a better point and more positive, uh, that <laughs> they they enjoy giving power to the coach because it allows them to have agency and to have control. And then also if you're the owner or if you're higher upper management, you don't have to worry about it because you have given this person this power in order to kind of facilitate the entire team. So you don't have to micromanage your coach uh, because you have gave him so little power. Now it takes fucking guts to bench your players i mean let's let's just face that within the current landscape of league of legends as it is and as it has always been it's very difficult to come up with succinct ideas of benching players and to say that this player deserves to be benched even though historically they have been a great player and getting that power from your owner is a critical key aspect for success for a coach and I think that's also why we haven't seen many successful coaches within the entire North American scene because coaches historically haven't been given enough power in order to do this so it's a very good thing that Jack was willing to do this when Reaper went up to him and said hey look we aren't going to make playoffs if we don't make some changes now and you should listen to me because I have a solid plan on how to fix this team to get ready for playoffs. And now look at where they're at. So coach of the split is very well deserved for this guy because he has the guts to go up to higher ups. Um, you know, the person who gives him his paycheck and says, hey, I need more power and you need to let me have more power. So it, it, it takes balls to do that. And that's one aspect in which I respect Reaper for. And now another thing in which this does uh, as a chain reaction is it keeps people hungry. It keeps players who have been comfortable within the squad, franchise players like Sneaky or Jensen that have been with the team for years, it keeps them hungry and it keeps them wanting to improve because they know now they have someone else to compete with. And that's not to say that it would create a toxic environment either because you look at the Korean scene and how constantly their players are capable of being replaced. And this may be due to the franchise system that we have currently and how, well, now you can't lose your, your franchise spot easily, right? You don't have the fear of relegations if you suddenly sub out Sneaky and you lose four games or you sub out Jensen and you lose four or five games, right? It's that you have time to build upon uh, the game plan, the longevity of your organization and of your team. And so that's one benefit that we do have within North America uh, to kind of subsidize our lack of talent that uh, we have compared to Korea. And then finally, basically, Reaper ain't no bitch. <laughs> he ain't no bitch and he's not controlled by his players. And that says something, that he's able to go up to his star players of Jensen and Sneaky and say, hey, 
I don't want you to play for next match. I think these other guys are better. You need to go back to the lab and do some homework uh, and then come back to me when you're ready. Matter of fact, no, I will judge when you are ready and then I will bring you back in. So you need to prove to me that uh, you are willing to be on this starting roster. And, you know, that, that goes the same with Sven Skarin as well, too. Um, so I, I just think having that authority is a very good thing with uh, with Reaper and with Cloud9. And if you remember at the beginning of the split, this all happened because the team was having problems adjusting to the mage meta and then the funnel comp as well, too. So that all this change happened because this team wasn't really adjusting properly to the meta. And we can all kind of assume that maybe the players weren't willing to try this new meta. Maybe they were just slacking. Uh, who really knows? This is all just assumption. But it still takes a nerve from a coach to kind of put fire under someone's ass and say, yo, if you aren't performing, I'm going to get someone who does and that that takes guts to not be controlled by star players like jensen and like sneaky who have historically had power because of relegations itself and so this kind of korean philosophy is now infiltrating north america and reaper is one of those prime examples of someone willing to do this and perpetuating this this type of philosophy and i think it's it's very good for the north american scene i think reaper has literally changed the way north america may forever look at coaching and that's not just from the team perspective it's not just from the player perspective it's also from the fan perspective importantly because fans are very focused on, you know, results-based analysis. Everyone always says that, that Reddit has this <laughs> results-based analysis, or fans do. And it, it's true to some extent, because Reaper probably would have got flamed very hard by Cloud9 fans if the split didn't work out the way that it did. And and now that, you know, they're, they're headed into playoffs and semifinals and such. So it's it's very important to get those results immediately but it's also important for a team and an organization to invest for the long term and that's actually what reaper did he invested for the long term and that fit within the franchise model as well too uh and fuck all the haters so reaper doing a really good job dabbing on the haters you know he doesn't give a shit i think he deserves coach of the split uh, he got my vote, and uh, I think he's doing an outstanding job, and I hope to see more from him in the future from Cloud9 or from any other organization that wants to pick him up, whatever. I just hope that he stays within the scene. He's a very good coach, and he deserves my vote, uh, and that's why I voted for him.